We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a public service announcement about antibiotic resistance. This is brought to you by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. What is antibiotic resistance? It is when bacteria use the survival of the fittest and evolution to create tactics that will help itself defend against antibiotics. How common is bacteria antibiotic resistance? Well, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, an estimated minimum of numbers of illnesses and deaths caused by antibiotic resistances is 2,049,442 illnesses and 23,000 deaths. Let's join little Timmy to talk about antibiotic resistance. Everybody has bacteria has bacteria inside them, even little Timmy here. Wait, what? Don't worry, Timmy. It's usually good bacteria that will help you, but sometimes using antibiotics can turn bacteria killer. What the? Now, as you can see from this diagram, this is what is supposed to happen when you take an antibiotic. First, you take your antibiotic. It goes into your immune system and is faced up against the bacteria. It should destroy the bacteria so that the bacteria is dead. But that isn't happening now with antibiotic resistance in bacteria. Now, antibiotics are fighting against bacteria, but the bacteria isn't being resistant. And most bacteria will actually fight back against the antibiotics so that the antibiotic is rendered useless. Bacteria are asexual reproducers, meaning that they split in half, basically, to reproduce, which is how the um, resistant gene is passed on. As you can see here, the more generations of bacteria there are, the more bacteria with the resistant gene are being produced. So, it takes about 20 minutes for the average E. coli to reproduce. So, within an hour, you already have eight back resistant bacteria. Within two hours, you have about 32 resistant bacteria. There are many types of antibiotic resistance that can happen. For instance, the bacteria in charge for pneumonia uh, develops a rather hard membrane that makes it impossible for antibiotics to break through. E. coli bacteria any boot out any invaders inside the cells so that antibacteria antibiotics cannot get into the bacteria. The bacteria that creates salmonella breaks down antibiotics so that they cannot even get near the bacteria shell. So you see, little Timmy, if you use if you overuse antibiotics, bacteria can grow strong and attack. What the <laughs> <laughs> so, Timmy, if a doctor prescribes antibiotics frequently for you, ask him if there's another uh, method. Remember, kids, uh, wash your hands and stay healthy. Uh, this has been a PSA. Uh, How can we treat antibiotic resistance? Well, if you have a minor paper cut or any other disease or bacterial infection that does not require an antibiotic, please do not go to a doctor and request for an antibiotic. Please wash your hands instead of using hand sanitizer and try to refrain from using any antibiotic um, products. This has been a public service announcement. <laughs>